prescribe. And guess what? Every head in the room goes like this. It doesn't matter if the person's a pharmacist or a drug rep, they go. And I say, and the other, but however, I have learned that when the earth was created, it was not left medicineless. So let me show you how to use some of those medicines. Then I just get into the class. Now, because I took that stance of being in the middle, I appealed to the people on the one side, I appealed to the people on the other side. I told them that medicine was good and I thought it was inspired, but we're way over prescribed. Who believes that? Everybody believes that. Now let me show you what the earth was left with when it was created. See what I mean? Appeal to everybody. Don't, don't be so fringy. In fact, one of the things that made doTERRA amazing is that, it, is that well, frankly, Young Living lived in the fringes. I mean, it was like, hey, let me show you how to treat everything, including cancer and Ebola, you know, with essential oils. Whereas doTERRA, when the time they hit the ground, look at their mission statement, it's to build a bridge between Western medicine and natural it's, it's, we want to be, we want to appeal to the masses, which is why doTERRA is growing so fast. So just remember when you're teaching a class, <coughs> keep it simple and duplicable, meaning you don't have to be the expert. Share a principle. Every principle, let the oil sell the principle. So I share something, I sample an oil that backs up what I shared. I share something, this, and then the other thing is, is this is what tells the oil. Uh, also share stories, facts tell, stories sell. Um, through this, find three really powerful stories that can be yours, and make sure that that's part of your presentation. All right, let's go to the next one. Uh, second door, are you open to use? So imagine a person comes to a class, They've sat through the class, and now it's my job to get them to use the products or to enroll. So are you open to use the products? Let me give you a couple scripts. Uh, right here. After class, I'll walk up to someone and say, what did you like most about the class tonight? Which kit option best fits your needs? So it's in the class, and I, I've gone through all the kits with them. Would you like to set up an account tonight? Now, this third one right here, this, sends to, this tends to send people into fear. Uh, where they're like, oh, do you have to ask that? Yes. <laughs> ask that. Just ask. Because this is what's going to happen. They're going to say yes, or they're going to say no, or they're going to give me a timeline for a yes. So, would you like to set up an account tonight? I need to talk to my husband. Okay, they just gave me a timeline for a yes. So when should I follow up with you? Does this, does this make it sense? Mm -hmm. But the question has to be asked. If, I mean, if you are afraid to ask that question, I recommend telling it to your spouse or significant other 20 times before the class. Hey, would you like to set up an account tonight? Honey, thanks for that taking out the trash. Would you like to set up an account tonight? <laughs> right? Just get really, really good at asking that and comfortable with it. Now, when a person says yes to this, here's the second invitation to the second presentation. Does that make sense? Again, three doors, three invitations, three presentations. Here's the invitation. Our next step is to set up a time where I can go over and show you how to manage your orders and, get, and show you how to get the most from your membership. Okay? Our next step is to set up a time I can come by and show you how to manage your orders and get the most from your membership. Imagine if we all were selling Costco memberships. And Costco called us after we got our card and said, we'd like to sit down with you and show you how to get the most out of your Costco membership. You're missing out on a lot of free stuff. Imagine if Costco called you after shopping there regularly and said, hey, I noticed that you walked through this particular line but if you walk through that line, we'll give you an additional 30% off of what you buy. See what I'm saying? This, that's what we're offering. So when a person enrolls, the second presentation is a membership overview. Let me show you how this works. Now this is a membership overview. Have any of you seen these before? Wow, oh my gosh, I should have brought some. So a membership overview is, this is just a, a booklet that I take everybody through once they've enrolled and it teaches them the benefits of a membership and ultimately gets them on loyalty rewards. This is just like a class is designed to get someone to, to want to get the oils and buy a kit. That gets people on loyalty rewards. Let me just tell you, the, 
this gives you, like, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not kidding, 80 to 90 percent of the people who do a membership overview always, always go on loyalty rewards. This is like the most, frankly, that's more important than the class itself, okay? So that's a huge thing. So membership overview is the second presentation. Now let's go to the third one. Okay, so now, imagine that after a person has been to a class, they they want to get the most of their membership, they're on loyalty rewards. And then we ask them this, are you open to share with others? Here are some scripts that'll, be, that'll help. Do you have an interest in learning about doTERRA's income opportunity? That's an example of a script you could, you could ask. By the way, do, does, it, does this scare anybody to talk to someone about this? <coughs> All right, so I'm gonna give you two, I'm gonna give you a script that I really like. So listen to these words really closely. Are you open to the idea of creating an income with doTERRA? Are you open to the idea of creating an income with doTERRA? So I'm going to ask it in two ways. Uh, are you open to building a business with doTERRA? Hmm. Or are you open to the idea of creating an income with doTERRA? Which one's softer? Can you feel the difference in it? So hey, would you be up? Are you open to creating? Let's see here. Are you open to building a business with doTERRA? That's that's a little straightforward, right? Are you open to the idea of creating an income with doTERRA? Just some people, my point is, is when it comes to door three, most people are a little bit hesitant with network marketing for good reason. If a person doesn't like network marketing, I normally go, oh good, they're normal, right? So don't think that, they're, that it's bad if someone has a bad attitude towards network marketing. So. And, and so what I do is when I'm asking that question, I'm opening, I'm just trying to get them to crack the door open a little. Are you, are you open to the idea of it? Well, I'm open to it. I'm, I'm most, most of the time I'm closed. Well, are you open to the idea? I'm open to the idea, right? I just want them to at least give it a chance. If they give it a chance, we'll go to the third presentation, which is called a business overview. Now, this business overview, someone asked uh, earlier, said, I want to know how you present the opportunity to people. Can I just say that if you master the three presentations I just described, it will take you to a whole new level in your business. Because this is what most people are terrible at describing in doTERRA. This is where we stink in doTERRA. Because the oils are so good that we spend all of our time talking about the oils. But let me tell you, duplication happens when you talk really good about the business. If you, don't, if you can't engage other people in the business with you, then good luck ever retiring, okay? If you can't just share oils and hope that someone will go, you know what, I wonder if there's a way to make money with this. I'll call doTERRA and see, right? You have to present this in a way that someone will be interested in learning about it, okay? Now, is this difficult for you to do? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah? Okay, if you do it, the three, the three more methods will be fine. So this is the end of this one. So let me just actually bring up, can I have three volunteers? Four volunteers, excuse me. Come on up. Four volunteers, all right, we have one, two, three, four, thank you. All right, so now. Okay, can I have, what is your name? Tammy. Tammy, and what rank are you? Silver. Silver, okay, good. I'm gonna use Tammy, and the reason why is because um, we've done this exercise with people, and sometimes the person ends up crying at the end. Oh. Now, oh, gosh. <laughs> because you're silver, I have faith that you can get through this, all right? I'm a mom. I'm okay. Yeah, okay. yeah. yeah. So can you so yeah. stand right, right over here? Okay. Tammy, yeah. And then okay. what is your name? Lewis. Lewis, it's right here. And then John? And I'm sorry? Alina. Okay. So now, I want to give you, a, here's a statement. I want you to all remember this. You invite everyone. You work with those that move towards you and you mentor the community. You invite everyone. You work with those that move towards you, and you mentor the community. Does that make sense? Now, imagine here are the three doors. You have door one, Elena, Elena this is door one. John, door two, and Luce. Oh, Luce, as in light. That's right. Okay, gotcha. So Luce is door three. So you represent the mindset of me, or of the person. So imagine this, Tammy. You have all of your contacts over here, and ultimately, when you contact your contacts, you're looking for a builder, right? 
you would like to find a builder. The way you get builders is you take them through the three doors. So invite everyone, and through those three doors, you're going to get a big portion through door one, a little bit less through door two, a little bit less through door three, and then you're going to get a committed builder on this side. Get that? Does everybody get how that works? Let me just tell you how this works. If I had 100 people over here, people on my names list, and I were to ask him who would be open to learning, what percentage would you think would be at least open to learn how to use the oils? 90. 95, 70. Yeah, it's about 80%. About 80% will actually be open to at least learn. <coughs> right? Yeah, I'll come to a class. I'll at least yeah. learn. Now, of the people who come to a class, let's say that I have 50 that come to a class. How many of those will actually go to door two and use the products? It's about half of the 50, right? If you are teaching a good class, um, and you're following up well, and you're comfortable asking a person if they'd like to set up a wholesale account, you'll get about half, so about 25 will come to you. Now, of the 25, how many of those will be open to share with others and listen to the business opportunity? I'm sorry? No. Oh, no. Uh, but it's about half of the 25. Uh-huh. If you do it right, yeah. And then out of that 10 to 12 that actually say, yes, I'm going to build, about three of them actually build. Okay, so just realize how the numbers work. If you know how the numbers work, you're not going to get upset when people, you know, why aren't everybody, you, you invite everyone, all of these people, invite them all. You work with those that move towards you, and then you mentor the committee. Is this clear? All right, so... Tammy? Yes. I'm a contact. You're, you're going to focus on door number one. Can you please give me a call and get me to door number one? All right. You're killing me. I know. Okay. But you're ah. a silver. I totally know you can do this. Oh, right, yeah. This is... So ring, ring. Yeah, hello. Okay, start again because I... Start again. Uh, start again with what? Okay, hang up and start again. Okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> because, yeah. Okay, you ready? Why? Yeah. All right. Great. So remember, remember the scripts we just went over. We just yes. Went over. Okay. So remember door one. Are you focused on door two? Don't. Just focus door on door one. one. Alina is doing you. If I can do this, anybody can do this. Right. I'm just saying. Now, I want you to listen closely to what she says, and if and if you would be open to coming and learning more, tell me, and I'll walk through door one. Because you represent my mind. Okay. All right, Tammy. Here we go. Hi, Seth. How are you today? Pretty good. How are you, Tammy? I'm doing great. Good. Are you open to learning more about essential oils? Okay, so what's wrong? Just right into it. Don't even ask. It was kind of like, it's like, hey, how are you? Okay, do you want to get married? <laughs> <laughs> uh, is, is this are you seeing yourself in this at all? Okay, so let's go back. It's giving you hope, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Remember what I was saying? If you can do it, I certainly can. Do you want your silver? I can. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 I'm doing great. How's the family doing? We're doing well. Thanks Good. I heard that you had a new baby. How's she doing? Uh, she's awesome. Amazing. Did she's... your wife get any sleep? Yeah, she is. Phew. Yeah. I'm sure you're helping because you're I am. I watched the child all day long for her. <laughs> <laughs> you are a super husband. It's true. Yes. Wow. How's your work going? I heard that there was a little layoff. Did you get a thing? No, we're doing good. Thanks. Oh, so, good. Yeah. so I... <laughs> this is the pausing time. Okay. Um, so I was just. Uh, um, <laughs> Can I help you? Sure. All right. So let me get. I'm going to give you all. This is this is a fantastic way to to get into asking the question. No. Say this. Quick question for you. That's one way. Another one is is just curious. I'm just curious, but, and you can go and do it. Another way is, is um, would it be all right if I asked you a question, right? Or can I ask you a question? Any of that. See what I'm saying? 
So let's pick one. What do you feel the best with? Quick question for you. Okay, all right. So, in fact, can I show you how to get to the point quickly? Yes. Let's let's switch places oh. for a second. I'll be the guy. Seth, my question is. Okay. So hold on, hold on. Do you want me to be ring, nice? Ring. You can be as mean as you want. Oh. <laughs> so ring, ring, ring. Hello. Hey, Tammy. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you, Seth? I'm doing really good. Hey, listen. I don't have too much time, but I just had a quick question for you. Kind of out of out of out of the air, but are you open to national forms of healthcare? Okay. What do you know about essential oils? Um, not a lot. Okay. Well, I'm having a class at my home on Thursday, and we're teaching people how to use the oils to take care of their families. Would you be open to learning more about that? Uh, yeah. Okay. Would Thursday at 7 work for you? How long will it be? About an hour. Yeah, I can find it. Okay. Now, I don't tell them that the class is taking <laughs> I know, I think I should. Okay. okay, that makes sense? Yeah. Alright, now, did you notice what I did? I said, hey, I, uh, I don't have too much time, but I have a quick question for you. See how that worked? Like, I didn't even have to go into all the, how's your family and your child and this? Oh, really? Okay. Do you know that I love you? I hope because I'm about to ask you about to go. Where are you going? <laughs> Did you find this helpful? Yeah. Okay. yeah. All right. All right. Let's, let's go. Call me up. Are we on the first that thing still? Yeah. First. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Bring a ling a ling. Hey, what's up, Tammy? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm doing really good. Thanks. I just don't have a lot of time, but I had a quick question for you. Are you open to learning more? Okay. So put a pause in there. Hold on. <laughs> Did I say learning? 
the reason why is that it's went straight to essential oils. So just ask if I'm open to natural forms of health care. That's it. Or am I open to natural forms of health care? That's the first question. Quick question for me. Are you open to learning more about not am I open to learning more about, just to ask if I'm open to natural forms. Okay. I'm giving so many people hope right now. I'm just saying. You are. You're doing a perfect job. You're doing exactly why. This, We're doing this. By the way, the fact that she's struggling is meaning that the, the, the learning experience has happened. The teaching opportunity is here. Because you're struggling. Just so you know, because you're struggling, more people in this room are learning how to do it. And they're seeing where they struggle. So don't be upset with yourself. Oh my gosh, this is why I'm struggling so much. All right. Hi, Seth. How are you? Good. How are you, Tammy? I'm doing great. Quick question. Yeah. Are you open to natural forms of health care? Uh, yeah. Woo! Now what? Woo! I'm having a class. Um, this coming Thursday. invited someone to a class and they said that they're open to learning but they can't make it that night. Yes. Would you like to know how to do that? Yes. yes. Can you be that person? Sure. Tammy, how are you doing? I'm doing great. Good. Hey, I got a quick question for you. Okay. Um, are you open to natural forms of health care? Yeah. You are. What do you know about essential oils? I only heard a little bit of that. Okay. I'm having a class at my home this Thursday at 7. We're going to teach people how to make essential oils and take care of their family. Would you be open to learning about that? Okay, here it is. Well, let me ask you, are you sincerely interested in learning more? Okay. You can't come Thursday. Is there a time that you and I can get together in the long run? What time works for you? Good mornings are better for me. Okay. Is tomorrow morning okay? Yeah. See how that works? So if a person says that they can't make it to an event, I ask, are you sincerely interested in learning more? And the reason why is because I don't want to work with the person with the, the bony kid. I want to work with the lady who looks like that. Remember that picture? <laughs> Does this make sense? By the way, you're, you're, the, the more calm you are, the more at ease I am. I just want you to know that. So, like, as you've been talking, and the more comfortable you're getting up here, it's, it's coming so much easier. Yeah. All right, so, so you invited me to a class. And I said, yes, I want to come. Now, after the class, I have sat through the class. Can you get me to door two? Oh. <laughs> so, Seth, what did you like about the class? I really like that green oil. That was amazing. Okay. What did you get?
Can you invite me to that event? Yes. Okay. So, I'd like to set up a time with you to go over a membership overview of Count with you so you can get the most of your, most of your membership. The most from the membership. Most from. from. Does that make sense? Yes. So, you see the importance of getting real comfortable with these scripts? They're simple, it's simple language, but one word can change the entire outcome. You feel that? And the nervous feeling. Right. So again, hey honey, can you please, thanks for taking out the garbage. Can I set up a time to do a membership over with you and show you how to get the most from your account? That's good. Hey, good job on your homework, Sally. Can I set up a time, remember, I mean, just, just practice it. Practice it, practice it, practice it. In the mirror, get really comfortable with it. Now, we've just finished we just finished the membership overview, and you're now going to see if I'm open the door for you. Here we go. How about start with this one? Am I open? Would you be open to share with others? Start with that one. So, Seth, are you open to share with others? Um, I'm, yeah, I'm kind of open to it. Okay, here we go. Did you guys, anybody remember the language? Go ahead. Are you open to the idea of creating the income of doTERRA? Are you open to creating the income of doTERRA? Okay, what's the difference? Okay, did you feel the difference between the two? Yeah. Okay, so, so you are totally open to that. Okay, so Seth, are you open to the idea of creating income of doTERRA? Yeah. Okay, what's the difference? I'm open to that. See how this works? Now, you'll notice that I you work with those that move towards me. I move all the way across here to you. And right? you bought a diamond kit. And I bought a diamond kit. <laughs> and I'm about to quit my job and go full time with this right now. Wow. <laughs> now, so 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 now I'm here with you and I'm committed to you. And now you mentor me. Does that make sense? So you're mentoring the community on this path. But yeah, go ahead. So you, you did the membership overview and you asked if they if are open to the idea of sharing with others or creating an income. And then how would you respond if someone's like, no, it's not at all. Like how how do you not answer, what do you say next that's not awkward? Like, well, I'm glad you told me because then I want to see it again. So a lot of times people get to door two and they say something like, I want to use the products first. Yeah. I just want to see if they work. Yeah. Those types of things. Then I could, I could just ask them a simple if then question. If then is use these, there's the if, if you were to use the products and they work like we hope you both, like you're hoping like I know, um, is this something that you want to do then? There's the then. See what I'm saying? And, they'll go, and most people say, yeah, if these work, I'm more than willing to see. See what I'm saying? Now, I want to just give you an example of what happened. Three doors stay up here. By the way, Cammie, you can sit down after you get a big round of applause. <laughs> someone up and I said, hey, would you be open to learn about oils? And they say, no, because I don't have any money. I'm like, why don't you have, I didn't say, why don't you have money, but I said, but, but when they said, when they said, I don't have any money, what happens is, is their concerns about finances were so pressing that they didn't even want to learn about something new in case they'd want to buy it. Like, ignorance is bliss, don't tell me anything, I don't want to know anything. I think that's very common. It is common. Even if they don't tell you that. Right, and so, so if someone is telling me that, then door three may open up doors one and two, right? Well, if I could show you a way to make some income, is that something that might interest you? See what I'm saying? So I'm just checking to see if the doors are open. Now let me sh just share an experience with you. I called up a good friend of mine and I said, Hey, uh, Courtney, are, are you uh, are you open to applicants in healthcare? She said, Yes, I am. I go, Oh, and she she answered very enthusiastically. Oh yes, yes, of course. In fact, I've been into that for a long time. Oh okay. Well, what do you use? I checked door two. 
see what I mean? She was open to learn, said she was way into it. And I said, well, what do you use? She goes, essential oil. And I was like, oh, door two, door one and two already done. She's already done that. I said, what brand of oils do you use? doTERRA. And I said, oh, so I went to door three. Are you building a business with it? She goes, oh, no, I haven't signed up yet. Oh, yeah. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> well, why haven't you? I've never been asked. No one asked her after the class. She'd like to set up an account tonight. She's a diamond. Okay? I know. Lost a diamond, got it. Okay. Okay, now, can I ask uh, Elena? What did you learn from this, being door one? Uh, honestly, I think it's the whole, where Tammy was talking to people and she tried to ask someone. I think that's my thing as well. I actually don't, I use the therapy because my mom uses it, and she's a massage therapist. Uh -huh. And so she used it like all my life. And so I've always been, I've never, Use, like, I use it, but I never said it. <laughs> right. So, so, so just watching Tammy kind of struggle with that language, is that helpful? Yeah. Yeah. So, Tammy, see how important that was. Thank you. All right. John, what did you learn from me? Just from observing this, what did you learn? Practice, practice, practice. Practice, practice, practice. That's right. Like, this doesn't happen by accident, right? It isn't something where you're like, oh, well, I... I've heard this a lot. I say the exact same thing you said, and I didn't get the results. And I'm like, I doubt you're saying exactly what I said. And even if you did, are saying what I said, you're so nervous that it's putting them on, right? When you, when I said, hey, Tammy, it's okay if you mess up because it makes everybody else here learn, you went, oh, okay, I don't have to be perfect. Your entire body language changed, and everything changed about that interaction, right? What did you learn about it, Bruce? Well, I learned that even though there's some love, what you just said right now, that I'm doing the therapy doesn't mean that they are signing something. No, that's totally something like that. In fact, did you know that 82% of the people that are signing up for therapy are not signing up for therapy? Yeah. 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 Yeah